Hello and welcome. My name is Dr. Jeremy, and today I'll walk you through using the ESP plus C chart. The content that we're going to be using for this video will come from Unit 2, Day 33, a lesson that examines the motivations and effects of European imperialism in Africa. Our video objectives today, we're going to learn how to use the ESP plus C chart to categorize historical information. And we're actually gonna do some document analysis using the ESP plus C chart. So let's first look at this chart before we dive deep into it. Um, there are four main categories, economic, which is our E, social, which is our S, political, which is our P, and cultural, which is our C. The ESP plus C chart helps really categorize information and important historical changes into those four broad categories. And when using the chart, these categories are usually listed in the first column for you. And one of the reasons we actually can really use this chart is it's going to help you create a really good general narrative of history. So you can have a broader understanding of the past. And the first row here will depend on the lesson or activity that you're going to be engaging in. Um, you could be doing a document analysis, or you could be doing another activity from your teacher. So what do these categories really mean? I suggest pausing the video and trying to decide and brainstorm, well, what exactly do, are these categories I need to know? So you may have done this in class, but it's always helpful to know exactly what a chart or tool is asking you to do. So if you wish to pause, I would ask yourself these questions. What does economics mean? Um, what does social mean? What does political mean? What does cultural mean? What does it look like? And put down some of those examples. So if you have done that, I have some examples as well. And these are just some of the ones that you may have come across. You may have your own definitions or maybe you've done some in class as well. But the key here is that you have an understanding of each category because then now you could go and use the chart now that you understand the category. So why don't we actually look at an example? So we're going to use a document, once again, that you can find in Unit 2, Day 33. And I have also included an annotated version of the document, unannotated version, in this video that you may wish to pause and read from the video if you wish. So what we're going to do is read this document, Colonial Treaties in Africa. And then as you read, you're going to highlight or categorize evidence that helps us figure out economic factors, political factors, social factors, and cultural factors using our color key code here. And we're going to only use one document here, and we're going to really try to look to see how things fit into our chart. But first we need to read, then go into our chart. Okay, hey, so once again, if you wish, I have included an unannotated text for you. Okay, and now I'm gonna go into my annotated text. If you re recognize here, our key is always up for you just in case you need it. So let me walk you through my process here as I was going over um, the document. So I color coded what I saw for green, because they seem pretty political to me, especially a meeting with the king and chiefs. Um, and I see something about giving up sovereignty and governing rights. These all scream political to me. Um, and I also, because I did read the context, I always encourage you to read the context. It gives you so much information. In the context, it also told me that this is going to be a political text. Treaties are, are usually political texts, but this is also telling me that the, Henry Morton Stanley was a British explorer and mercenary, but working for the Belgium King. And he signed many of these treaties and usually through trickery and fraud. So I wanted to keep that in mind. So you may wish to even highlight the context depending on what the code is, because that could come in handy when you are writing about something later. I continued to look through the document and I noticed some more political things like obedience to laws. Um, I did also notice some economics because I saw labor here, right? So labor will be associated with economics. And then 
I also saw like resources such as like fishing and mining and game, which are animals, um, forest rights and property. I feel like that was very economic. So I put that in. And then I also saw some more economics because in this, there's an agreement to pay the chiefs um, for all of this that they are giving them. And I also wanted to put that in economic yellow. I did not see and social and, and social and cultural, you may have, which is fine, but I personally had not, which is also okay. Your document doesn't have to have everything. Um, right now we're analyzing the document to see what it can give us. So now that I have done my annotations, my next step is to look through them and then organize them into the chart. So you may wish to pause the video here and put in your organization and if needed, refer back to our brainstorming about what each category might be asking you for, just in case you need it. So if we're going to look at this breakdown of this document, this is what I put together because I mostly saw economic and political currently just for this document. I'm only going to write what I saw for economics and political. And for economics, I saw, and if we go back to my highlighting, we'll see that African subjects must help with labor and any work that the International African Association wants. And then remember I talked about, I saw the land rights. So in addition to taking land and the resources and trade, I actually put a quote there just to remind me exactly what kind of resources and trade um, that I saw in the document that are being taken. So roads and waterways, tolls, game, fishing, mining, forest rights. And then also I did see that in return, the African chiefs will get, will each get one piece of cloth per month for all these things that the Europeans are taking. And then I also want to put together and gather my political information from this document that there's going to be a formation of this international African association, but it really seems to only benefit Belgium, right? Um, the African rulers are going to give up their sovereignty, which is their right to rule, and they're going to give up their governing rights. And then the African rulers may not, they also can't make treaties of any other country. And according to this, they have to help defend Belgium interests. So this is already telling me a lot about the relationships um, that the Belgium are going in when they're going into countries in Africa. So I hope this was helpful, especially this breakdown to show you how you can use the ESP plus C process to dive into a document and then organize your information. Hope you have a great one and I'll see you next video.